Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to episode six in my Sunday reset routine playlist. I'm sharing yet another Sunday reset routine with you guys. We are starting this routine off by popping a load of laundry in the wash, and we're gonna get moving in today's video. I made a little checklist of everything I wanted to do. I'm gonna be taking you guys with me through my whole Sunday, sharing things I like to do to make sure I have a great week. So we're gonna be doing some tidying. We're we're gonna be going to the grocery store a little bit later. And of course, I have a delicious recipe that I'm gonna be showing with you guys at the very end. We are now in the guest room and I'm just putting some fresh sheets on the bed. I had washed the sheets a couple of weeks ago and I just let them sit on top and didn't put them on. So I figured we'd go ahead and take care of that. It looks so nice when we pass the guest room and the bed's nice and made. So I'm glad we took care of this, putting all of the fresh pillows on the bed. I'm also using my Tide antibacterial spray a lot. I'm disinfecting pretty much all the surfaces in this room. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, hi, welcome, and welcome here even if you are not new. My name's Lexi and I love making videos just like this one. Like I said, this is episode six in my Sunday reset routine. So if you guys love this style of video, I will have the playlist linked down below for you guys. I also love sharing meal prep videos on my channel, grocery hauls. We just moved into this house a year ago, so I love sharing home decor, all of the furniture that we're using today decorate so home updates i also want to be starting to share some fashion here soon so if that sounds like something you're interested in definitely consider hitting that subscribe button I just folded up the fresh blanket that came out the dryer and now I'm just wiping down this dresser. I love the surface of it because there was some stuff like caked on but it just wiped right away. It's not like a matte finish, it's more of a gloss so it's really easy to keep clean. The guest room is put back together. Everything's nice and clean and disinfected. Now we're in the master bedroom and I had a load of whites I wanted to take care of, some sheets and some towels. We're gonna get these folded and then we're gonna put them away. I've been through heartaches, I've been to heaven. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons. No matter how hard my life would treat me, I'd always get right back up now. We are moving right on along to the guest bathroom. I figured I would go ahead and give it a good clean. We did clean it right after our guests left after Christmas time, but this bathroom gets so dusty. There was so much dust in there. So I figured I would just do like a quick and easy little wipe down in there. Wasn't any like major scrubbing that needed to happen. I just really wanted to wipe everything down and let's disregard this piece of lint stuck to my leggings. I seriously love these leggings, but they hold on to lint. That is my only complaint about them. I really like 
liked the scrubbing bubbles. I used to pick this up all the time, but I just hadn't picked it up in a couple of years. I picked it up on my shopping trip at Target and I forgot how good it was. It's like super foamy and bubbly and it like really holds on to the grime. So really like that. If you're looking for a good shower cleaner, definitely pick this one up from Target. You probably noticed I didn't clean the toilet. I had started to clean it earlier this day and then realized I was filming a Sunday reset routine, so stopped and saved the rest of the bathroom to clean with you guys so we didn't have to clean the toilet in this video. So I share this in a home updates video. I got this basket from Target. I will link it below for you guys. It is amazing at storing paper towels. I washed my hands, of course, and now I'm just folding some paper towels in the basket. It's really nice. Guests can grab a paper towel after they wash their hands. They don't have to use the decorative towel and just like spread bacteria because they say those towels hold on to so much bacteria. So it's best to just use a paper towel. So I just like taking the time to fold them in this basket. It looks a lot better. I think it's just such a great touch as well. So I will have the basket linked down below if you want to do the same thing in your bathroom. So I gave the floors a good sweep and now I'm just using my little floor steamer. This is linked to my Amazon storefront under cleaning essentials. Love it. It does such a good job at cleaning the floors. I used some lavender essential oil and it just made the bathroom smell so, so good. I just put a couple of drops on the pad. So definitely try that if you haven't already. We are now in my office and I wanted to get this area clean so that way Monday morning I can sit at my desk, it's nice and clean, putting all of my journals away. By the way, I have been loving to journal in the morning so I've been using a few different journals, one for work, one for personal and then the other one's just like random things like if I wanna make a grocery list or something like that and I just love them because I can just brain dump, put all of my ideas on paper. I'm such a person who loves to write things out versus like doing things on the computer. You guys will have to let me know what you like to do down below. Are you a person who likes to plan like on like a digital planner or are you a person who likes to write things out? So I have plans to add some additional decor in my office, so stay tuned for that. I wanna film another home updates video. I've been ordering some more furniture to sprinkle around the house and just add things here and there as I see them. We're still furnishing this house, even though we've been in here for a year. I feel like we've done so much since we moved in, but I feel like we still have so much more to still do. So stay tuned for another home updates video. I will be sharing everything new that I bought for our home in an upcoming video. Before we head out the door and head to Sam's Club, I wanted to go ahead and take the load out the washer, pop it in the dryer, I'm hanging up anything that can't go in the dryer, and then we're gonna go head to Sam's Club. I didn't fold this load of laundry in this video, I got to it the next morning. I don't always get to everything in my Sunday reset routines. So the only thing we needed this week was all of our meat. So I like to buy that in bulk, which is why we are going to Sam's Club. They have the best deals on meat. I had to share with you guys this cast iron pot. Looks identical to mine. It was under $30. I also love picking up my Dawn Power Wash here. It was $7.98 for three, you guys. That's such a steal. I buy my paper towels, toilet paper, and we also buy all of our meats from Sam's Club. And then later in the week, I will be getting my veggies from Aldi. 
right, so we just got home and do a little grocery haul for you guys. So we do buy all of our vegetables and stuff from like Aldi and we're gonna do that probably on Wednesday, but this is all of the meats that we're gonna be eating for the month. So we have some chicken drumsticks. Ryan uses this for a lot of the recipes he makes. Also a big thing of chicken thighs as well. We have some chicken tenderloins. I usually get chicken breasts, but they were completely out. So I'm trying the tenderloins um, this time around. I am gonna separate this chicken in freezer bags so that way we can just pull out the freezer bags. We don't need to thaw out this entire thing. I got two things of their large raw shrimp. Their shrimp is amazing at Sam's Club. And then I got two packs of the beef. You get three in each little, I went ahead and separated one of them because I want to eat some ground beef tomorrow. But we picked up two packs and you get three pounds in each pack. Um, we picked up some of this Swahi filet. I think that's how you say that. We love this fish. And then steak, I went to Publix the other day to get a steak and I paid $30 for two. This was four steaks for $30 at Sam's Club. So such an amazing deal. We picked that up. And then our favorite, favorite fish of all time, we picked up some snapper. We love snapper, it tastes amazing grilled. And then we love this one fried. That one's really good fried. So yeah, this is all the meats that we'll have and this will last us a month, sometimes longer, like a month and a half, two months. But we definitely won't need any more meats. I probably will go back to Sam's Club to get chicken breasts since they were out. Now that we have the groceries put away, I wanted to share with you guys this delicious shrimp taco recipe. This is inspired by a meal kit delivery service we had delivered. I wanted to recreate the recipe. So we're starting off by making my homemade guacamole. I'll have the recipe typed out below for you guys, but I love using avocados, jalapenos, cilantro, lime juice, sea salt. It is just so fresh, and I'll even throw in a little bit of tomatoes if I have it. You can really get creative with this guacamole. For this recipe, you're gonna need a poblano pepper. You're gonna wanna slice that up into some strips. You're also gonna need a red onion as well. Go ahead and chop your red onion into some pretty large chunks. And then I heated a drizzle of olive oil in a pan and we're gonna go ahead and saute the onions and the peppers together until they get soft. I cooked the vegetables for a few minutes and now I'm adding some fajita seasoning. You can use any fajita seasoning. I just add this to taste until the veggies are well coated in that seasoning. Once they were completely soft, I went ahead and removed it from the pan and now I'm grilling some shrimp. I'm using my caraway pans. I'm obsessed with these pans. I will have them linked down below. I also have a 10% discount code. You get a complete set and they come in so many different colors. I have the cream color. You guys should not be surprised by that. That because I love cream, but they also have a gray set, they have a blue set, a red set, so definitely check them out. And this is how it's going to look when it's all done. I just put it in some tortillas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.